The 2016 crop circle season got off to a late start. As the first one appeared on April the 9th, then two on May 6th, one on May 11th, then one on May 15th, another one on May 16th, and the last one in May occurring May 28th. But June 6th, four amazing crop circles appeared. Complicated, intriguing, and very mysterious. Let me show you one by one, and let's check to see if there are any clues we missed, and then I'll try to decode any hidden messages. There are two crop circles which appeared in Wiltshire, England on June 6, 2016, and additional artwork appeared in the May 28th crop circle. Let's call that the June 6th add-on. And a simple dotted design appeared at Hoven, Netherlands, also on that day. Do you remember the movie National Treasure? After an exhaustive search and a dramatic escape, instead of the treasure, what they found was just another clue. Maybe that is why we were given four clues today. If you search 6616 End Time Prophecy, you will find 245,000 results from the Google search. But June 6th came and went. We are still here, and I'm very happy for that. You see, many viewers considered that we've been spreading fear, but they failed to notice that we felt we needed to show you the crop circles. And maybe one of us can figure out what the message is. Of course, we tried to decode it, and we may have stretched our imagination, but we did not fabricate any facts. We did not make any crop circles, nor decoded any crop circles we know are made by hoaxers. <laughs> Even the DMV gives drivers licenses when you fail a few questions, right? The first crop circle I want to talk about is this circle which appeared in Willow Boy Hedge. I want to talk about this one first because it seemed to me what I expected would appear. Remember, I showed you in my last analysis the three Wilshire crop circles from May 11th, May 16th, and May 28th. Reading these crop circles seemed like reading a comic strip. The story just got better and better with more clues coming every several days. And after the last crop circle's appearance on May 28th, I expected to get more details. Is the additional artwork in Silbury the answer? Or is it this one? Do you know what this symbol is? I think the easiest way is to call it a 10-point star with a double circle in the center. But if you look carefully, you will find the 10-point star is actually two interlaced hollow pentagrams, forming a quasi-arabesque pattern. In plain words, two stars over one another. And the center one, you can call it either a target or maybe our sun. Do I need to explain more? Could this mean something coming our way? Maybe twinkle, twinkle, our twin star? What do you think? Now, let's look at this crop circle at Castle Hill, Wiltshire. What do you see? Is that what you had in mind? Well, you're probably familiar with a few tricks I have. So, same old, same old. Let's look to see if this points to a date of a planetary alignment. Let's assume this circle means four planets 
aligning in a diamond shape. But is it shaped around the sun, or around the earth, or neither? Well, since I'm not sure, let me see if I can find a date where both the sun and the earth are in the center of planets forming a, a diamond shape. And since the two circles on the opposite ends seem to have rings around them, let's see if there is an alignment date with Saturn and Uranus on opposite ends. What if I tell you I've found such a date? August 21st, 2017. In my prior videos about the May 28th, 2016 crop circles, I pointed to the period from July 23rd to August the 21st, 2017 as a special period. Because of the alignment of the April 9th crop circle, and also the planetary map of the circle on May the 24th, 2015, which pointed to the year with 13 months. Even the circle of July 10th, 2015, which not only points to the year with 13 months, but also a partial lunar eclipse, which is the date of August the 6th, 2017. And with the end of the lunar leap month falling on August the 21st, 2017. The June 6th Wiltshire crop circle seems to point to that date as well. Now, let's talk about the silvery June 6th additional artwork. Maybe that holds clues as well. Let's see what the graphic may mean. Remember the May 15th German circle showed a whirlpool kind of a pattern. But that has six blades, while this one has five. Both seem to move in a similar direction. Wow, at least it's not showing a pole shift, as many feared. Could it be some kind of a turbulence? A hurricane? But let's look at the center pattern. I will call that a twisted five-point star. Could it mean one of our planets may have twisted in orbit? Could it be the Earth? When I searched for a similar graphic as reference, I found this. It's called the energy spiral and the five red pentagrams. You may be surprised to know it is actually the flag of Hong Kong. So what does that mean? Are we going to face a regime change as Hong Kong did in the year 2000? I hope not. Or could this be the symbol of a U.S. Marshal? See, there is a circle inside the five-point star. And when I searched, I found this map with a five-point star pointing to the White House. Will there be any attacks on the White House? Don't forget, there is a target in the center. So, could this be a warning? Now, the last one to talk about is the Hoven June 6th crop circle. It has two big dots with a group of seven smaller dots dividing the two. What do you think it is? Is it our sun and its twin star nemesis? Well, not likely, because our sun is supposed to be much bigger. Then, could it be something coming between us and our moon? Mm, not likely, since our moon is supposed to be much smaller. My guess is that it means some asteroids, our UFOs, may come between us and our nearest neighbor, Venus. Since we are about the same size and in the same zip code, With so much interest about doomsday and crop circles, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the crop circles are man-made. But I actually had some interesting conversation with a Wiltshire crop circle maker and learned a lot about crop circles 
from a different angle that I had never thought possible. Basically, many crop circle designers made circles because they felt they got to pass the messages given to them. Although you can't deny it, there are also many who did it just for the fun to fool others. A viewer commented, I think these are all fake, all man-made. Well, think this way. We are all man-made. Are humans then fake? <laughs> this is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.